Did Nev Campbell just confirm her return to the Scream franchise in a recent quote? Let's get into it. What's your favorite scary movie? what's up killjoy jake here and instead of having friends i have horror movies today we're talking about some brand new set photos for scream 6 that may just reveal a new york city subway setting where we could possibly get a chase sequence through as well as a recent quote from nev campbell talking a little bit about her future with the scream franchise now before we get into that if you guys can like this video and subscribe i would greatly appreciate that so we have two new pictures that reveal that we're probably going to be getting a new york city subway setting at some point in the new scream film this is really exciting and i have speculated in the past that maybe we get a chase sequence through the subway. Before I even get into these pictures, I just feel like it would be a massive missed opportunity to not play around with the setting this time around. This is Scream in New York City. They should capitalize on that, and these pictures make me very happy. Sure, I'm just theorizing here, but I do have a little bit of evidence to back this up. Our first picture here is the cast members quite literally looking at a map of New York City, which featured on it is the subway system, like the, the rail system throughout all of New York. I'm assuming this is accurate, though. Hopefully. But oddly enough, the more significant picture here is this one of Jasmine Savoy Brown. Why I say that is because the background very much resembles the New York City subway. To compare and contrast, here's a picture of the actual New York City subway versus the set. I mean, it looks incredibly similar here. So I'm not saying this is confirmation that we get a chase scene specifically through a subway system, but... Come on, baby, we gotta get Ghostface chasing someone down here and killing them with a train. That would be so awesome, man. Pushing someone in front of a train. Come on, Ghost, that would be a, such an amazing Ghostface kill. Your boy's got his fingers crossed. Environmental kills in Scream 6 is a massive plus for me. I really hope they take that route and take advantage of some of the things that maybe Jason Takes Manhattan did not take advantage of all those years ago. I literally just posted a video on this page giving an update on the Nev Campbell situation as to what her involvement is going to be in Scream 6. I kind of talked about how she has been very vocal about not being happy with the contracts that she was given, the amount of money that she was offered, so I highly doubt she's going to be in Scream 6. But moving forward with the franchise, if there is going to be a Scream 7, which is not confirmed, but highly, highly rumored that it's going to be happening, and also, once again, from the same creative team, Radio Silence, Kevin Williamson, Guy Busick, all those people. Now we have Dev Campbell talking about how she may still be open to being in a future Scream film if the contracts and the amount that she's given is actually up to her worth. Discussing her future with the Scream franchise, Nev Campbell says, I'm not just done with the chapter. I care about these movies. If they were to come to me with an amount that felt in keeping with, the value that I bring them, I would certainly consider it. I care about these new directors, Matt Bettinelli Olpin and Tyler Gillette. They did such a great job on the last one and I wish them luck. So Sydney Prescott may not have had her final confrontation with Ghostface just yet, everybody. Me personally, I'm highly speculating that the studio will fix this situation because of how vocal the fan base has been about this absolute bullshit, which I can I don't think I can stress that enough. And if the studio knows, well, anything about making fucking movies, what they should do is give her double what she's worth for this next film and have a badass final fight between Sidney Prescott and Ghostface in Scream 7, baby. It does sound a little bit far-fetched and sure, kind of like a fairy tale ending, but at the same time, that would be pretty fucking awesome if, they d if that actually happened for Nev Campbell. The studio could right their wrongs and give us a badass finisher in this new trilogy from Radio Silence. Scream 6 hits theaters on March 31st of 2023, and you know your boy's gonna be seeing this one multiple times. I am still very excited for Scream 6 with everything going on with it, but at the same time, I'm super pissed off about this Nev Campbell situation. I already talked about in my video before that I don't think boycotting it will really help the situation. I talk a little more on that in this video up here. But what are your guys' thoughts on Scream 6 so far? Are you excited for a possible subway chase scene and are you just as pissed off as I am about the whole Nev Campbell situation? Leave me something about it down in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching this new video on Scream 6. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more horror content and updates on Mr. Ghostface. Please make sure to subscribe to my second channel, Movie Smoothie, where I give updates on just about everything else I'm excited about, including MCU stuff and Rick and Morty Season 6. The link for that is in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video again, and as always, don't forget to kill it out there, y'all.